Hey guys, hope you're having a good day today, and in today's video, I want to show you guys the difference between vector and pixel graphics and graphic design. So, as a designer, it's like really important to understand the use cases and different characteristics of both vector and pixel graphics, and they both have their own strengths and limitations, and the goal in today's video is to show you guys those, so let's hop right into it. Alright, to start off, I brought you guys over to just show you guys the difference between the vector and pixel images so right on the left over here we have our vector images which are basically just uh, straight lines and shapes that are made up of like a mathematical formula so they kind of go on forever uh, I'll demonstrate that in a moment and with the pixel graphics that is on the right it's made up a bunch of uh, small cubicle pixels uh, they each have their own predetermined color and it can be made up of uh, a large amount of pixels like yeah 2400 in there or you could have as little as like 16 it really depends on how high definition the image is vector graphics are created of lines, shapes and curves that uh, overall are made up of a mathematical formula which make it so that you can zoom in or out and scale the image uh, as far as you would like to so if we zoom into this image right here like so as you can see this line right here is always staying that perfect curve. It's not getting pixelated the further I zoom in and the further I zoom out, those are staying the same. It, it maintains those curves. Now if I were to go over to, to the pixel over here, when I zoom in, you can see these pixels get refined and you can see the individual pixels with the color in each. So that is the, the kind of the basic difference right there. So with vector art, you're going to see a lot more of a kind of a 2D with uh, more of flat images, but a lot of more artists nowadays are coming out with those 3D images with the vector art, which is a really cool and fascinating. So I just hopped over onto Dribble right now, searched up vector art to give you guys some examples. So kind of like that flat, bunch of shading in there, but as you can tell, it kind of maintains the same kind of art style. With uh, pixel images or otherwise known as like raster images, um, it's made up of a, a grid that has one by one by one by one pieces or squares that hold their own color value as I explained earlier. And with these, they're going to be more of like high resolution photos so you can do more with like shading, editing and change the one by one pixels in the image to change those certain colors. So I hopped over to Pexels over, Pexels over here to just show you just some random images or whatnot, but these would be examples of like pixels or whatnot in your images uh, so that you can edit them later so these are all examples of uh, using like pixels and then uh, compared to over here this these would be more like a vector art like something like this um, like a logo um, logos are really popularized with a uh, vector art because it's vector art is a scalable you can make it as small as possible you can make it as big as possible but it's going to maintain the shape dimensions and the curvature so you're not going to have those pixels when you scale it up or scale it down so in summary it's very important for designers to know the difference between vector graphics and pixel graphics when designing anything in graphic design so I hope the video helped and if you guys like the content please consider dropping a like, subscribing and sharing the content. It goes a long way with helping me put out more content to help you guys in the future so I appreciate that a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'd love to see you in the next one.